Hello, uh, my name is Alexey Danilov. I'm a professor of hematology at, in the Department of uh, Hematopoietic Stem Cell Transplant at City of Hope. Um, and uh, here with me is Dr. Uh, Veronika Bajanova, who is a uh, professor of medicine at the University of Minnesota. She also leads the lymphoma interdis interdisciplinary team uh, at her site. Uh, she directs the cell therapies and uh, is a section head of uh, hematologic malignancies at the University of Minnesota. And uh, today we will talk about um, NK uh, cells um, in, uh, uh, as a novel approach in therapy of CLL. So um, uh, Dr. Vachanova, so what are the NK cells? Yeah, well, thanks uh, for having me. Uh, the first of all, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And um, I will talk about NK cells and how we can use NK cells in therapy. So NK cells are white cells, lymphocytes. They are similar to T cells, but they are also very different. And they are different in a way that that can be used in a therapeutics. They can be manipulated. They can be derived either from the donors or grown in a laboratory from the immature stem cells and become a product which can be then infused to patients where they can find the CLL cancer cells and elicit uh, anti-tumor killing. So they can kill like a cell-to-cell -cell contact. They are very unique because they don't have to, uh, they, they, they are not causing um, major cytokine release and they are not damaging the other tissues, uh, which some of the T cells can do and cause the Grapple-Hose disease or other immune mediated toxicities. So they are quite unique in a way uh, how um, safely they can be applied. So what, what I'm hearing is that they're different than CAR T cells where CAR T cells that we are used to hearing about, they have to be, uh, so far, the ones that are FDA approved have to be derived from the patients and then infused back. So NK cells are not the same, right? Uh, so there are different sources of NK cells, but all of the NK cells used in a therapy has to be from the donor. The patient's own NK cells are not really useful. They are usually dysfunctional and they're unable to work uh, back in the patient's body. So we use other sources. Uh, the most advanced therapy right now is uh, really development of the uh, pluripotent stem cell derived NK cells. These are grown from the uh, master banks of the pluripotent stem cells. They are grown into NK cells in a laboratory, and then they can be manipulated to become what's called NK CAR. So again, the specific receptor uh, and a chimeric antigen receptor, which is uh, targeting the tumor cells can be uh, genetically introduced into NK cell. And that product is their NK CAR. Uh, most of the therapies uh, for NK cell field right now is either IPS derived or a third party or donor derived. Hmm. Very, very cool. So is there already any clinical data with NK cells in uh, patients with CLL? The product, which is the far, uh, far ahead is called FT596. It's a, it's a product which is using NK CAR and the clinical study is uh, underway. We have it, uh, there are several sites uh, open in the US and uh, the CLL arm of this uh, clinical trial is currently enrolling patients. Uh, the study includes uh, use of the chemotherapy and then one single dose of these cells are infused to the patients. Uh, there is an option of a second infusion at day 15. Now, uh, we have treated uh, a handful of patients on a CLL arm and have seen some promising uh, results already, but it's very early to say uh, and to be able to really give uh, advice. For right now, the study is looking at safety mostly. Mm -hmm. And does the treatment appear safe so far? So far, it appears to be safe. We haven't really had any significant uh, or unexpected toxicity, but also importantly, what we uh, have noted is that uh, from the patient so far treated, 
none of the patients developed a cytokine syndrome or uh, encephalopathy, which are, as we know, common with CAR T cells therapy, but not common with a CAR and K cell therapy. Mm -hmm. We have a similar experience in lymphoma. Mm. Very exciting. Thank you. And uh, are there any uh, projects involving NK cells uh, that you are running that you would like to highlight? Sure. Uh, so I, I, I have been doing the NK cell work for, for a decade or so, and we are developing NK cell therapeutics for lymphoid malignancies, but also for other blood cancers, AML and myeloma. Uh, we have a clinical trial uh, using another NK cell. This one is from your related donors. So for example, for ad from adult children or nephews, nieces, it doesn't have to be really even HLA matched person, but somebody who is willing to donate NK cells from their own blood, which are usually healthy and very strong and powerful to be turned into a therapy. Uh, this is called... Uh, nicotinamide uh, epigenetically modified NK cell product, which is again, therapy used for the lymphoma, CLL and um, aggressive lymphoma. And the study is currently open and enrolling in, uh, at the University of Minnesota. So if anybody's interested, please um, feel free to connect with us. We'll be happy to uh, look at whether, whether this is a, something where you can be eligible or you can benefit from. The study is already at phase two, so it's really been shown and demonstrated safety and, in fact, quite remarkable efficacy. Um, the current uh, arms are for the aggressive lymphoma and follicle lymphoma only. So we don't we, we do currently have a CLL arm, but but hopefully we we, we think about opening it within within the next uh, year. Great. So certainly exciting time in cell therapy, therapies and NK cell therapies and CLL and lymphoma. Uh, thank you uh, so much, uh, Dr. Bajanova. Thanks for having me, Dr. Daniela. Bye-bye.